The problem that we're asked to solve asks how many molecules of water are in one snowflake um, weighing 3.00 milligrams. All right, the very first thing that you're told to do is, well, you're asked what conversion factors do you need? So I think even before you decide what conversion factors you need, you probably should consider what you have to start with. And so if we just kind of scan through the problem, it says how many molecules... And so molecules um, is our question mark. We're trying to find that. And it asks are in one snowflake and the snowflake weighs 3.00 milligrams. So this is our actual start. All right, so if we have um, three milligrams, so we wanna get, let's just diagram this out. We wanna get from milligrams of water and we want to try to get to molecules of water. So once we consider our start and then where we want to end, we can figure out what conversion factors we need. So I'm just going to write down my conversion factors or get ready to write my conversion factors. Okay, so if... Um, I'm in milligrams, right? And that's not a useful unit for me or for you. So I know that I need to be in grams and it's pretty simple to get from milligrams to grams. There's 1000 milligrams that are in one gram. And if that is tricky for you, that's that's okay. Just um, know that you might have to look up those units to figure out how to get from a unit that is less well known to one that you're that you can work with and it's and it's perfectly fine to look that up um so 1000 milligrams is equal to one gram of water and now i also know from my periodic table that um if i were to look up how much each um formula mass or what the formula mass of water weighs we did this in the module we know that one mole of water is the same thing as 18.00 grams of water. They're one and the same thing. And then I also know just from the definition of a mole, that one mole of anything, but we're working with water, is the same thing as 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. So these are all the conversion factors that I know. So this one came from the periodic table, and this one comes from just um, a definition of mole. All right, so now that we've got those, now we go back to what our starting point is, and our starting point was 3.00 milligrams of water. So I need a conversion factor that has both milligrams and a unit that I'm trying to get to in it, and the only conversion factor that does that is this one right here. So I'm going to use that and I want to get rid of milligrams. So that means that I have to put the 1000 milligrams on the bottom so that it'll cancel out and then one gram of water goes on top. So notice that's the nice part about a conversion factor. You can just move it around so that um, it does what you need it to do. Um, so now if I were to stop here, I would have to take three divided by 1000 and that would give me 0.003. I'm going to tack on sig figs just for the fun of it. And that's grams of water. All right. But now again, this doesn't get me to where I need to go. So I'm going to take my 0.00300 grams of water. And the next thing that I want to do is find a conversion factor that has grams in it, but gets me moving towards molecules. And so that takes us to the next conversion factor, which is right here, and that is that one mole is the same thing as 18 grams. So again, I'm in units of grams, so that means I need to put grams diagonal to it to cancel it out. 18 grams will go on the bottom, one mole of water goes on top, and if I do just this step, I'm going to take my 0 0.00300, divide it by 18, and I'm going to get, I'm going to use scientific notation now, I'm going to get um, 1.6 six seven times ten to the negative one two three four negative four and that's moles of h2o now typically you don't want to do your sig figs as you go but 
we're going to do that. Don't tell on me. All right, so now as I move this up, I'm in units of moles, and that's not where I want to be. I want to figure out molecules. So this becomes my start point. So I'm just going to bring 1.67 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of water down here. I'm going to multiply a conversion factor. The only conversion factor I have left is um, this one right here. I'm going to switch to green, which might not be great if you have color blindness, but that's um, this one right here. All right, so um, again, I need to get rid of moles. So that means that I put moles on the bottom, one mole of H2O, and on top goes 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and that's molecules of water. And I'm gonna put my equal sign. So I'm gonna take 1.67 times 10 to the negative fourth moles times 6.022 exponent 10 to the 23, um, and that gives me 1.00 times 10 to the 20th molecules of water. And this is how many water molecules are in a snowflake. Cool.